How you doing today? Marcus Conti. Here in one of my favorite places of all time, Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. And uh, today is again August 16th, 2017. Proof of life. Yes, I am alive. There's a reason for I'm doing that. But anyway, I'm here and um, I'm going to make a confession today. You guys are going to want to hear this. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to, I'm going to confess. I'm going to tell you why the Department of Sanitation really fired me. I know the reason. And, um, but anyway, before we do that, I want to, I want to salute our uh, fallen heroes here. This is a monument. This is what's, uh, what we're in um, Cannon, what's called Cannonball Park. It's actually John Paul Jones Park, but the neighborhood calls it Cannonball Park, and there you see the fallen um, Vietnam heroes, a beautiful uh, wreath there for the heroes that fell in Vietnam defending our country. I'm an American. I love America. Say what you want about it. I'm a fan. I want to show you one other thing in Cannonball Park. We'll see the cannonballs, and then I'm going to give you my confession. In 1931, this was erected. This is a beautiful monument here. Nobody even notices it anymore. And um, this is to the to the glory of God, and in the everlasting remembrance of the Dover Patrol, 1914. To 1919 they died that we might live may we be worthy of their sacrifice maybe we may we be worthy of their sacrifice I like that and so there's the beautiful monument and then behind me over there is the cannonballs the real cannon over here in Fort Hamilton, Brooklyn. So anyway, there was a reason why I was fired from the Department of Sanitation. We'll get back to that. And um, there's a reason why I'm doing a series of videos right now. Like I said in other videos, it's not, a, it's not about me. They made it about me and it's not about me. It's about the community, it's about the residents of New York City. Okay, all I was was, you know, a resident of the city, a, you know, a nice guy who wanted to do the job and um, a year and a half ago I was fired. I'm only talking about it now because things are heating up. The leaks are coming in like crazy, I can't even keep up with them. And I appreciate that. Uh, back in June 25th, 2015, give you a shot of the Barrazano Bridge if you could see it. The hell's a bridge? Bang! Barrazano Bridge. Okay. So back in, um, try to wrap this up. I'm not going to try to take you guys up too long. So back in June, two, uh, June 2015, June 25th, 2015, I went into um, the Department of Sanitation's EEO department to make a complaint. And it started out as a retaliation case where, not, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. It's hot out. It started out as a discrimination complaint, and I was, you know, receiving some un unusual behavior, and uh, and I, you know, peacefully went down there. And in that process, the um, director of EEO, her name is Teresa H. Neal. Yeah, I'll doss her. I don't care. You got her email address. You can phone call her. But anyway, I spoke to this uh, individual, and 
we had a conversation about what the problem in the enforcement division of the Department of Sanitation was. And I was taken back by it because no one ever asked me my opinion before. They, you know, you know how it is. It's very abusive. It's a very hostile work environment. If you say boo, you get jumped on. And, um, you know, and uh, so, so I offered them this. You know, she asked me, you know, what, what, what's the problem? You know, what, what are the problems there? Why is it, why is it, is it that way? And I offered her this. We must be fun. We must. There must be a fundamental shift away from quota ticket writing and a, a return to community organizing and education. NYPD is doing it. So should we. Measuring how well we do by how many tickets we write is not the proper metric. We must develop a more compassionate scorecard. Organizing community broom sweeps, by hand literature distribution, direct uplifting communication with the community, free brooms, balloons for kids, fun stuff. Present a new green image to the community, a new smiling face, and as a last resort, write summonses for grotesque non compliance to city law. Encourage people to clean up after themselves recycle properly, and might I dare say clean up for a neighbor. The current fear-driven enforcement initiative of putting your head down and writing 10 tickets no matter what, the cover your ass mentality, is an initiative that must end. Inspiring the enforcement division and the green side to embrace community building over NOV writing the redefining of DSNY agents as welcome faces in the community is a far better idea than what we currently have, what we currently hear on the street is, here they come again writing tickets, I guess the city needs the money. Most people who receive a trash summons feel like the police are shaking them down. After all, we patrol in police uniforms and are instructed to meet quotas. We're sanitation. We can do better than that. By replacing quota and mis uh, quotas and micromanagement managed accusations of wrongdoing, we offer managers and agents the training and skills needed to go out into the community and make a difference. By shifting the focus away from ticket writing and toward giving citizens of New York City a broom and a break. We greatly reduce the need to micromanage agents out of suspicion they're doing something wrong. Instead, they are out in the community doing something right and starting to love it. We rally the press around this new initiative. Everyone benefits. Cleaner streets, happier employees, healthier department. We come out looking like rock stars. Try this for one year and if you don't like what you see, our pain and misery will be graciously refunded. Yours, operating without fear, Marcus Conti. So there you have it. That's the reason I was fired. I spoke my mind about the quota in a protected, you know, proceeding, in an EEO investigation. She asked me for my opinion and I gave it to her. And that's when all the write-ups started. I got five in one day, <laughs> you know, some of them, you know, signed a blank piece of paper and if you didn't sign it, that's a write-up. You know, there, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of that stuff. I dropped something and it broke and it was all my fault. I intended to do it. <laughs> so, but, um, so now you have it. It's in the record. I am alive. <laughs> and, uh. You now know my sins. I have confessed to you, my brothers and sisters, the sins that I have committed against the Department of Sanitation and all <laughs> because I wanted a job, a green job. This is beautiful. Look at this. Somebody made this. A green job. <laughs> 